why I uh, ask them about the Himawari footage, you know, all the time, or the Himawari images, because I said the I said the following: uh, Pixar, literally the leaders in their industry when it comes to CGIing shit. I mean, these people make fucking movies that are nothing but CGI. They can render one frame at a 4K resolution footage, one frame, one single fucking frame in 30 minutes. This is why they have entire fucking skyscrapers that are render farms. Yeah. And yet we're basically saying that Himawari has the ability to to render a frame that is 11,000 by 11,000 every 10 minutes. Not only does it render a image of that quality in that time frame, but it also comports with the weather of the local areas. And uh, one of the uh, uh, YouTubers who is not very well known for whatever fucking reason, because it this honestly makes no sense to me, actually made a video where he compared his own observations from the ground to the images that were uh, that were being produced by the Himawari satellite. Now, a lot of the images show the exact same weather pattern that was uh, illustrated on the Himawari satellite. But you know, it it was it was very uh, how do I say exact to what you would expect. However, on the as he was rendering that video to be posted something happened he went outside and he saw a very unique cloud shape it kind of looked like a spear he went on the himawari's uh, uh image archive for that day since he was right outside he could walk right right outside and see this cloud and he took a picture of it compared it to the images that were produced by the himawari satellite and it was the exact same cloud formation it was fucking nuts Oh, and that I, was, that, 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 there's only one explanation. The weather's in on it. Yes, the weather. <laughs> yeah. So basically, this means that the weather is actually in on the conspiracy. We yeah, figured or, it out, guys. Or these people not only have to uh, constantly produce a live stream of CGI all the time, they also have to make it perfectly accurate with respect to the weather. Yes. All so, the time. So they would have to have a a uh, a ridiculously powerful computer to render 11,000 by 11,000 resolution CGI all the fucking time and do it consistently every 10 fucking minutes yeah. it would have to comport with the weather of the area for the for an entire side of the planet and on top of that on top of that they would have to do this without getting caught especially when you have an operation that's this fucking massive there aren't any whistleblowers or anything like that what what's so fucking ever and stuff so uh what i did was i went ahead and i took that uh that video and i took the video and i shared it on my uh on my page now i'm gonna go ahead and share something here here you can see this dude's video and i'm going to recommend that everyone go to this video and thumb this shit up because yeah, this is actually pretty fucking gnarly. Okay. I'm gonna post. Yeah. I'm gonna post a uh, link in the live chat right now. This this dude right right here, Wade's Underworld. Sub this guy. This dude has 136 subs. That is fucking bullshit, guys. Get get this guy some subs. Get this motherfucker some subs. I mean, look at this. There there is. There is three. There, there's nearly three hundred fucking people watching this shit. Okay, first of all, don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. Secondly, sub this guy. Okay, I, I, I just subbed. I mean, it, it's it's great. So, um, let me go ahead and mute the audio so I can hear you find people. But uh, let me go ahead and play this uh, video right here. So as you can see, he shows his now oh. for the encore. See this uh, cloud formation right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you see this uh, like the spire right here on the edge. Look at that. Yeah, that yeah. is the exact same cloud formation. That is fucking freaky. And he shows you 
this is what it what, what it looks like looking towards the west. You have these very straight clouds, and you have a little bit more straight clouds looking towards the east. Guess what? It comports with what is being shown in the satellite image. It's like, it is very clear over here. Here's the clear sky that he's looking through. This shit is fucking nuts. And you look at this, and it's like, how the fuck could people disagree that satellites exist after watching this? Fuck! I reckon I don't get it either. G'day mate, Red, you are awesome. Thank you so fucking much for reviewing my video and telling your subs to subscribe to my channel. Which over a hundred of them have, so dude, you are gnarly. The point you made about Pixar and the time it takes to render one frame, wow, what an amazing point. I've been watching you absolutely destroy Flat Earthers for a while now, and I've loved every moment of it. Seriously, dude, thank you so fucking much. Now, I'm hoping the reason I don't have many subs yet is because I've only done a handful of videos, but the subs I do have are extremely supportive, and I'm incredibly lucky to have every single one of them. And my subscribers, if any of you aren't already subs to Red Rhetoric, please sub to both his channels, Red's Rhetoric and The Redshift. Red's is the flat earth destroyer so thanks to red's review we're now at 200 subscribers booyah the live stream i've taken this from is his flat earth dumpster fire after show the link is in the description make sure you go watch it after this because there is a heap of awesome content in there so again red thank you mate thank you so much thank you all right so while i've got you all here uh, there's just a couple of things i want to show you this from my perspective in the southern hemisphere this is what the flat earth map should look like i was watching that show beyond the dome the other night no under the dome it's called sorry and they'll at the edge of the dome and the dome looks straight and so that made me make this meme i guess which is hey flat earthers where's the curve and i did this one the other day it's a frontal curvature observation i did on an enclosed lake it's nothing spectacular but i thought i'd show it it's pretty cool Thanks so much for watching guys. Make sure you go check out Red's Rhetoric. He really is the Flat Earth Destroyer. And to my new subscribers from Red's Rhetoric, thank you and thanks for joining the madness. <laughs> thanks guys.